Thank you, Jeff. Well, I think we could agree that though it doesn't feel like mm -hmm. it, it is beginning to look a lot like Christmas. You want to sing that? I you should don't. sing that. Yeah, I, was, I was tempted, but I, I, you know, know. I wanted to save the future. <laughs> <laughs> Hundreds of people are spreading holiday cheer in Blacksburg at the town's annual Winter Lights Festival, and that's where we find 10 News meteorologist Jonathan Kegis. So, Jonathan, we're about 10 minutes away from the tree lighting. I'm sure it's getting pretty packed out there. It's getting really packed, and I think we all want to hear John Carlin sing that song out here this uh, this afternoon, this evening. We need some Christmas spirit. It doesn't feel like it uh, too much out here. Temperatures are really, really nice. I want to show you the crowd. Santa's making his way. He's somewhere in there working his way from the Lyric Theater where he was listening to all the good boys and girls just moments ago. And as you mentioned, we're a little less than 10 minutes away from the tree lighting getting underway. And uh, this field was empty about an hour ago. And now we have everybody jam packed. Everyone's making close friends out here again. This uh, tree lighting taking place just before 545. A lot of people now heading back up. Oh, I think I see Santa's red hat way over there. The, you might be able to pick him out there. There's a lot of red, but he's coming in with the children's choral who just wrapped up their singing, and you see them entering now into our little roped off area or lighted off area, getting ready to uh, kick off the Christmas season here in Blacksburg, guys. Hey, Jonathan, uh, I understand that, uh, that this year's tree lighting is very special for Mayor Rortem. Can you tell us more about that? It is, yeah, this is going to be his last time lighting up the tree. He's going to retire later in the year. And again, uh, very, very special for him as he's been doing this for a while. This is going to be the last one. So we're anxious to catch up with him as he gets ready to magically light this tree for his last time. Live in Blacksburg, Jonathan Kegis, 10 News, working for you.